Hey, it's Heidi with Broadmeadow Farm, and today I'm out at our yard site. I thought I'd share with you a little bit of the updates of what's going on out here. So out here in our field, we got the four corners of the house pinned out. Arlen and I spent a couple, well, maybe about an hour out here on the weekend measuring from the property line and getting the four corner posts in. And the reason we need that is because we have to have our septic soil sample done this week. And when they do that, they dig a 10 foot hole, I think two 10 foot holes, and then they'll send that sample away just to figure out exactly what kind of septic field we're going to be needing out here. So we've got four corner posts for our house. One, two, three, and four. Our house is going to be facing west. So here we've got our driveway and when they bring the house in we'll actually have to remove some of those fences just because it'll be a little bit harder for them to bring it in and they'll also have to come in and raise this line. Our future driveway will come in here. Up to here in the house. Also on the yard we're going to be putting in my big greenhouse. So stay tuned in the future there will be videos on putting up my greenhouse and this is not a personal greenhouse. It'll start there but the future will be a greenhouse that I will be selling perennials and possibly some bedding outs. So here we have all of my perennials and then this section here will be used to plant some garlic as well. So one of the things that needs to be done out here before we can do any amount of basement digging is this is a canola crop and my parents will have to get this off before we can do anything. Though the well driller does think that he might actually be able to get in here before the crop is off. So it's just kind of a waiting game right now to see what's going to happen first. Is the weather going to smarten up and then we can get back in the field with the combine and get this crop off or will the well guy come in here and then we'll have to work around him. So that will remain to be seen in the next couple weeks. Today I also went and put the building permit uh, application in, so we're moving ahead a little bit on that here as well. So I'm standing in the far southeast corner of our property. Our property line will go almost to this power pole and roughly to about there and then back to where I'm standing. On Friday, the kids and my mom and I were able to head out to the city to check the house out that we put the deposit on. It's still sitting on its basement. In the coming weeks, the building mover will actually start disconnecting all of the furnaces and all the electrical lines to the basement in prepping for lifting the house off of its existing basement and then bringing it out to our site. So that leaves us sitting at, we've got our development and building permits in. We've got our deposit in for natural gas, our deposit for power, We've got the well driller was out here this morning just specking out potential sites for the water well. The septic soil sampling will be happening sometime this week and that's kind of where we're sitting for right now. So here's what we've got accomplished so far here at Mum's Garden. We've got lots of manure added in here, lots of good space in between the perennials. We've brought in some manure here at the front and then as we get these petunias out, then we'll till up this front section and get some more manure in here because this was where it was the hardest. I'm not sure if it shows up very well, but we've got a bit of a start of a mound here and a mound there. So this is where we're going to be putting her six raised beds. We're gonna pl plant the six raised beds from here all the way to the raspberries, and those will be for vegetables. And then in this area right here, we're going to do a long and narrow bed and that's for any kind of annuals that she wants for cut flowers. Things like tall snapdragons, Queen Anne's lace. It'll give her space for some sunflowers and any other annuals that she likes for cut flowers. So this here is the north side of their house and it's kind of an overlooked area because all of the focus and energy is on the south side because that's where the deck is and looking out. So we removed about four different types of shrubs out of here but these are the four peonies that are going to be moved and then a good section of these irises will be moved to the other side. The purpose of removing all of this is to reduce the inventory load as well as the weeding that is needed to do on a large farm yard. If after all of this is removed is this entire section is going to be planted to grass. Grass for them is a much lower maintenance thing so this weeping birch was planted for I think their 25th wedding anniversary and look at how tall and beautiful it is. I remember when we purchased it, it fit exactly in their suburban from the back window 
all the way to the windshield and it curved a little bit. It was just a 15 gallon pot and look what can happen in 20 years. This shrub is an Ammer maple, turns a nice color in the fall. Here you can see the beautiful leaves and the seeds. So if you have a bit of a space in your garden, this is one I would really recommend you consider for your garden. Here's another shrub that can give you some fall color in your garden. This one is a cranberry, an ornamental cranberry. So if your yard isn't working for you, don't be afraid to change it. That's what we're doing here for my parents. We're reducing the inventory and getting the focus of their efforts and labor into a zone or an area that they're going to enjoy a little bit more. So thanks for coming along today on our updates video. Kind of exciting happenings on the go for us. We're really looking forward to getting that basement started and we would like you to come along and join us on our journey. So make sure you click that notification bell down below as well as subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the updates that we're going to share in the coming months. So thanks for coming and we'll see you next week.